We got Wi-Fi 6 and it is amazing. First we're going to be telling you what Wi-Fi 6 is and then we're going to be doing a comparison between the actual unit itself and... And our old Google Wi-Fi. Well I say it's old, it's only a few years old, but wow, have things come on a long way. Let's get into it. So let me give you some context. These Wi-Fi devices are connecting to your normal modem in the house. And what they do is they transmit the signal out over your house. These are particular, these are mesh Wi-Fi, so which means that they will take in the signal from your modem, then they'll output it to the rest of the house. And you put one downstairs, one upstairs, depending on how big your house is, you buy more of these. So this is the Google Wi-Fi. It's about, it's a few years old, three years old, something like that, maybe four. And then you've got this, which is the Orbi, it's a new system. They do what's called a 6,000 system and a 4,200 system. Again, it's mesh, but it uses something called Wi-Fi 6. So Wi-Fi 6 is the latest and greatest at the moment. There is another version coming out called Wi-Fi 6E uh, later on this year. But at the moment, this is one of the latest models. This one isn't the fastest, but it's, it's enough for our download speed. Now, the benefits of Wi-Fi 6 are it can go further and it can have more uh, devices on its Wi-Fi structure. So uh, we've got about 35 devices with lights and speakers and things like that all over the house. Um, and these ones have started to drop signal sometimes, or it just seems slow. I don't know why it's got, it seems to have gone that way. Maybe it is that way and I just haven't realized. Um, and things are starting to get a bit more uh, uh, Wi-Fi hungry, things like that. Also, the kids have grown and they're starting to download movies and stream and gaming and things like that. So there's quite a lot of pressure on our Wi-Fi. So what I wanna do is show you very simply with a simple test, showing you the Wi-Fi from these of what we've got, the speeds that is coming down and at each different distance, and do the same with this, the Wi-Fi 6 version, the Orbis. But just to show you straight off the bat, they're not small, they look small in the packaging. Look at that. These things are big. So this is the satellite version. So this is the one that will go upstairs or to the other side of your house and it will talk directly to your main one, which is by your modem. So yeah, so that's what I want to show you. We're going to do a great comparison. It's going to be real fast and see exactly if there's an immediate difference, which I can tell you now, spoiler alert, there is. So let's start off where the broadband comes into the house. What it does is it goes into this router and this is where we should be getting the highest possible signal and speed. So this is the modem that's supplied by the internet provider. And then what we do is we go out to the Google Wi-Fi currently uh, and that will be replaced in future with the uh, Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do a test with the current Wi-Fi coming direct from the supplier's own modem. So no Google, no mesh Wi-Fi, no Orbi, just directly into the house. And what I'm gonna use is the speed test software, which is, um, I'm gonna always connect to the same server, which I think is that. And I'm linked to the Wi-Fi of the main modem I know already. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we're a little bit, little bit up and down. We're at 114, 115. Okay, so we've got 125 meg downloads according to this. I mean, we're literally a foot away from the device itself. And a 17 meg upload. So that's our starting point. That's as good as it's gonna get apparently uh, by using the, the uh, modem that they supply. Uh, and now we're gonna go to this one, we're gonna, which is connected to the modem. So this is the Google Wi-Fi, mesh Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna do exactly the same test with the same server. And we're gonna click go. 
I am literally right next to it, so you can't get much closer than this. You can immediately see that it's not getting the full speed now that the modem connected to the, in, the broadband is. So we're at 75.5 download, and it looks like it's gonna be 13 on the upload. No, a bit less. 12.9. So that gives us a good starting point for being the closest to the Wi-Fi from Google. Now what we're gonna do is go as far away as possible from it within the constraints of the house and do the same test and see what the download speed and the upload speed is there. Once we've done that, we're then gonna add in the satellite upstairs at the furthest point and see if that helps increase the speed and what speed that gives us up and down. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're now in Charles's room and that is the furthest away from the uh, Google Wi-Fi. I've launched the app and we're gonna see what the signal is here. So we're on the same server as before. So let's uh, give it a try. Connecting. Whoa, that's not good. That is low. That's really bad. I didn't realize it was gonna be quite so bad. So we're really not far that far away. We're about, I know, we're one floor up and about two rooms further back. And they're not very big rooms, you can see from the size of this. But, wow, three megabytes total. Nope, 1.84 download and two upload. There's about one, possibly two doors, which are open in between here and the, uh, the Google Wi-Fi. So let's just check that I am on the right Wi-Fi. Yep, I am on the right Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's pretty uh, interesting. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in the satellite. I'm gonna just put it outside his room and see how much of a difference that makes. All right, so that's now the satellite plugged in. So that now talks directly to the main unit downstairs, the Google Wi-Fi, and we're gonna do exactly the same test and see how it's improved it. So if I click go, I'm already on the same server, I know I am. Let's see. Immediate. So it's nowhere near the speed of downstairs, but it's a massive increase from where we were just a minute ago without having the satellite. So what this is doing is it's talking, it's linking to the Google downstairs and that's called, that's the mesh Wi-Fi. And it uses the same password, the same Wi-Fi network to join. Um, so you don't need to have lots of different Wi-Fi network names all over the house. So 39 megabytes download, 13.8 megabytes upload with the satellite. So now we're gonna take these Google Wi-Fi's out of the equation and put in the Orbi 6. Exciting. The Orbi is directly connected to the modem and uh, my phone is directly connected to the Orbi for Wi-Fi just to see uh, what we can get. And we get a little test this close again as we did in the first one. But just a tip, when you're changing your Wi-Fi, if you go from an old router to a new router, just call it the same name. So give it the same Wi-Fi details and the same password and all of your devices in the house will connect to it like they did before. You won't need to go around and change everything again. So the other thing is that on the Orbi down here, if you look at it, there's no lights. The lights are only there when you're setting it up and they will only show if there is actually a problem. So with that in mind, let's do the test. Let's just check I'm on the same server. I am, let's click go and see what we've got. Wow. That is amazing. That's unbelievable. God. So that's even faster than the broadband supplier's own modem right next to it. So it's going through that device. So the Wi-Fi is clearly better on this. So it's 135 meg download, 16 up. So that's that's incredible. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back to Charles's room. We're gonna do, we're gonna not plug in the satellite. We're just gonna see what this gives us upstairs in that room as a signal, just to give, just as a matter of see how, how much strength it has. Okay, let's go. Back in Charles's room. So we've got the one Orbi 6 connected downstairs, nothing else, uh, which I'm connected to directly. So let's have a look and do the test. Again, furthest part, furthest away from it we could possibly be in this house. Ha, huh. look at that. 60 rounds. So no satellite, no nothing upstairs, just purely talking to the one 
at the furthest away point in this house. So a 54 meg download and what looks to be a 15 or 16, 16 upload. That's incredible. Already you can see there's a major, major difference. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just do like we did before and plug in the satellite, the Orbi satellite, outside Charles' bedroom. So we've installed the satellite and we're going to do the next test to make sure I'm on the same server as all of the other tests. Yep, on the same server. Now I'm connected to the satellite Orbi 6, which is just outside the door, which then connects via mesh to the one that's downstairs, the main one. So here we go, let's do the test. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my goodness. That's more like it. So furthest away part of the house and we have the main Orbi 6 downstairs, the satellite upstairs, and we are nearly 15, getting the 16. We're nearly getting the full speed from what's coming into the house in the upload and the download. So 117 megabytes download and 16 up. So really it's it's doing exactly as it says on the tin and we're getting full speed at the furthest point away from the, where it comes into the house initially. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So that's it, the tests are complete. It's really conclusive. I mean, what a massive difference. They are expensive, well, this is expensive, but it is a big upgrade at the same time. You know, it can have many more, can hold many more on its Wi-Fi network. So as, as I said at the beginning, we're up to 35 devices on, on the network at the moment. And this one just seems to struggle, the old Google Wi-Fi. Still amazing, um, but you know, things have come on a long way in just a few short years. They both have apps, so the downside to this one is that on the Orbi app, you cannot control, much to Charles's delight, uh, the uh, each individual product that's on, let's say is on an Xbox. Um, I can't control that, I can't set up a schedule, which means that it will switch off at a certain time. So that's a downside to this. With the Google system, you can do that. Maybe they'll add that in software at a later date, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's so much faster. We're getting the speeds that we're paying for coming into the house, out to the rest of the house. And that's the best bit for me. That makes it worthwhile, especially working from home a lot now and video conferencing a lot. So, and how's it been for the gaming? Really good. So I've been around 10 ping around that, constant. And what's your download speed? You're getting pretty good download speeds. Yeah. Well, we saw it in the video, so. Yeah. It's um, it's good stuff. So I would highly recommend the Orbi 6. This is the 4200 version. It's not the top one. Uh, we don't really need that, I don't think, because of the speeds that we have uh, coming into the house. I know some of you may be getting one gig down, but that's, you know, it's unusual, certainly for the UK anyway. That's amazing. Yeah, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it's fast enough for us. Yeah. So that's it for this one. It wraps it up. We really enjoyed doing this one together, and we hope you did. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, right, see you. Zip. Alright. Well, it's not. It's just the beginning. <laughs>